Hello friends. Welcome to the channel Electrical Deck. In this video, we are going to learn about types of three phase transformer connections. The generation of electrical power is usually at three phase and at higher voltages. Similarly, transmission of an electrical power is also at very high voltages like 110, 132 or 400 kilovolts. To step up the generated voltages for transmission purpose, it is necessary to have a step up three phase transformer. Similarly, at the time of distribution, it is necessary to reduce the voltage level, for which a step down three phase transformer is essential. For the construction and working principle of three phase transformer, check out the link given in description. Now, in this video, let us see the different winding connections of a three-phase transformer. The primary and secondary of a three-phase transformer as three-phase windings can be connected in different ways, such as in star or in delta. With suitable connection, voltage can be raised or lowered. The most commonly used connections are star-to-star -star connection, delta-to-delta -delta connection, star to delta connection and delta to star connection let us check out briefly about them in star to star type of connection both primary and secondary windings are connected in star the star to star connection of three phase transformer is used where there is a need for small currents and high voltage in star connection, there is a phase shift of 30 degrees between phase and line voltages on both primary and secondary side. The advantages of using star to star connection are due to star connection, the phase voltage is 1 by root 3 times the line voltage, hence, less number of turns are required and it decreases the stress on the insulation. There is no phase shift between primary and secondary voltages. As neutral is available, it is well suited for three phase four wire system. But the disadvantages with this type of connection are in the absence of a neutral connection, the star to star connection cannot work satisfactory if the load is unbalanced. If the neutral of primary winding is not connected to the neutral of generator, the primary winding cannot draw third and fifth harmonic current. Hence, the flux in the core cannot be of sinusoidal wave and, therefore, the voltages will be distorted. In delta-to-delta -delta connection of three-phase transformer, both the primary and secondary three-phase windings are connected in delta. This type of connection is most economical for the systems that carry large currents on low voltages. The advantages of using delta-to-delta -delta connection are even if the load is unbalanced, the three-phase voltage remain constant. Thus, it allows unbalancing loading also. The cross-section of the conductor is reduced because the phase current in delta connection is reduced by root three times. If one of the delta connected phase is removed due to an fault, continuity of the supply is maintained with the remaining two phases, of course with the reduced efficiency. There is no distortion of secondary voltages. But the drawback of this type of connection are more insulation is required when compared to star to star connection. Due to the absence of neutral point, it is not suitable for three phase, four wire system. In star to delta connection, the three phase primary winding is connected in star, while the secondary in delta. This type of connection is commonly employed at the substation end of the transmission line. The main usage with this type of connection is to step down the voltage. The neutral available on the primary side is grounded, and there is a phase difference of 30 degrees with primary and secondary line voltages. The advantages of star to delta connection are since the primary is star connected, less number of turns are required. This makes the connection economical for large high voltage transformers. The neutral available on the primary is earthed to avoid distortion. 
large unbalanced loads can be handled satisfactorily. But the disadvantage is that the secondary voltage is not in phase with the primary voltage. And it is not possible to operate transformer in parallel with the star to star or delta to delta connected transformers. In delta to star connection of transformer, the primary is connected in delta and the secondary is in star connection. This type of connection is used to step up the voltage, that is, at the generating stations. The advantages of star to delta connection are on the primary side, due to delta connection, cross section of the conductor required is less. On the secondary side, neutral is available, due to which it is well suited for three phase, four wire system. Large unbalanced loads can be handled without any difficulty. But the disadvantage of this type of connection is, as same as star to delta connection, there will be a phase shift between primary and secondary voltages. Thank you for watching video. See you soon again. And don't forget to subscribe us for more electrical stuff.